Hi, it's Nina here. This is an excerpt from my uh, documentary that I was in that was called uh, I'm Kylie's Body Double. It was shown on the BBC and uh, this is an edited version of it. I hope you enjoy it. Day in, day out, castings, jobs, TV commercials. It's hands, 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 hand city, you know? This is all I do. This is it. Is it sad? I don't know. <laughs> I can honestly say I'm one of the only hand models in the UK that is full time and is as busy as I am. I mean, as we're speaking now, I could be called up now. They might need a hand model somewhere right at the other end of town. My hands and nails need to be in perfect condition so I'm ready to go at all times. I think I've got about four TV commercials running at the moment. I've been hyped up to be supermodel of hand models. I'm everywhere. The only person who tops that, I think, today is Kate Moss because she does everything. <laughs> I do get my mum sometimes calling me up in the evening when I'm in the middle of something, you know. Nina, I just want to ask you, uh, was that, did you do the, um, whatever, fairy commercial or something? Because I, I saw some hands on there, they look exactly like yours, I just want to know. <laughs> Parents are always proud though, aren't they? That's kind of a parent thing. You probably don't recognise Nina's face but you'll have certainly come across her lovely hands. At 26, Nina is Britain's most prolific hand model. This is my cupboard where um, I house all my magazines that I've been in. We've got Vogue, loads of Vogue here. Remember, there's British Vogue, American Vogue, Italian Vogue, which is the Bible of all magazines, Harper's Bazaar, Cosmopolitan. So, for instance, here, this uh, Marie Claire one. This is quite good. When was this? This was November last year. Here we go. Look, I'll show you. This is an example of what I do a lot of the time. Obviously, that's not me. I wish. <laughs> but here, this hand, that is my hand, believe it or not. And it goes on here. So I'm standing next to her. If you can imagine, just so that we can get the right angle, so it's as if she's doing it you know but it's my hand you know nina's hands have doubled for dozens of models and actors whose digits are less than perfect oh, here she is again in a rimmel advert selling nail polish hang on that's kate moss what happens is obviously kate moss is the main sort of face of rimmel and in the shots particularly where they have the products in there they will get me in to present them so for instance, you see her on the motorbike, and just the bit where she's on there, you'll have a cut. To me, when I was on the motorbike, just a close-up, just say of the hand, going vroom vroom like that. <laughs> Sorry, if you don't mind me doing the sound effect. <laughs> and then it'll cut back to her on the bike again, doing, I think she gets off of it, or she flicks her hair, or does something like that. What's wrong with Kate Moss's hands? Uh, we've got same size hands. Her nails are, at times, a little bit unpredictable. Nina can earn a thousand pounds a day doubling for Kate Moss. First position, stand by, turn over. And one, two, three, four. Body part modeling isn't just an occasional job. For these people, it's a full time career. Three, four, five. Cut it. Well, today I'm shooting a television commercial and it's a commercial for Summerfield's supermarket. This is the beauty of it, you see. I mean, one day I'm Kate Moss's hands and I'm wearing a million pounds worth of jewels uh, and, uh, and the next day I'm a, a checkout girl at Summerfield's. And one, two, three, four, five, and cut. Our adverts work on um, customers being in our stores um, for different kinds of shopping missions. Nina's absolutely key to what we're doing here today. You know, if, if you like, it's the product that needs to be the hero in the sequence. You do need attractive hands to, um, you know, to make the sequence uh, just look that a little bit better, and it's a very difficult skill. One, two, three, four, five. 
Got it. It does seem a little bit monotonous at times, but I always have to, concentration is of essence because as soon as you stop concentrating, something goes wrong. Your um, left hand is partially masking the V on variety. Oh, the V? Yeah. Okay. And drop your right hand down with the pack, please. And one, two, three, In this game, there's always another day, always another casting. So far in Nina's career, she has an impeccable track record for landing work. But it's not just the whims of the photographer she has to worry about. It's the quality of the competition. Hi, it's Gemma Howard. Gemma is the new pair of hands on the block and she's becoming a regular presence at castings. I know a lot of the girls, they've actually said this to me, where they say, oh, you know, whenever I see your book there, you know, lying there, I know you're at casting, I think, oh, Nina Ta Nina's here, you know, and what, let's see if I've even got a chance, you know, which is ridiculous, really, because everybody's got a chance. I don't get every single casting. Cool. How are you? Good, thank you. Been busy? I have been busy actually. It's been really good. Good year. I haven't seen you since. What was the last that casting? I bumped into you. Casting. Was that the last oh, one? Yeah. 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 I, so. I just know your hands are tiny, aren't they? I think they're smaller than mine. Let's measure. At what size? Six and a half. It's maybe just narrower. Thanks a lot. It's a nice book. Can I have a look. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Nice. Quite old. Lovely. Oh, nice. It's not that heavy, you know. Yeah. Excellent. Gemma, it's crazy. Yeah. If you can go around behind. Everybody's competition to a certain extent. It's not really like in, in modelling, you know, where you've got, oh, I'm a brunette because I'm, and then you're a blonde, so we get different jobs or whatever. To be honest with you, with the hands, there's always a degree of competition, but um, it's quite friendly. Well, I don't know. Apart from, I was at a party once, a photographer's party, Christmas party, and um, one of my colleagues was there, who I've worked with a number of times, and I don't know how she meant it, but it was so strange. She said to me, um, uh, she said, you know what, Nina, I'd like to uh, take you outside and stub a cigarette out on your hand so I can get more work. And I thought, hello, am I supposed to laugh? I didn't know what that was. I mean, it probably was a joke, but it was, it was an odd thing to say, to be honest with you. There shouldn't be any jealousy, really. There is enough work to go around. I know that I nab a lot of the work, but there is still, on all the jobs that I don't make or not able to do, there's, there's a lot to go around. So I don't know why some people are a bit silly. Um, just arrange your fingers as if you're holding a little pile of sand in the palm of your hand. Good, that's lovely. Nina, what, what, what is lovely is that when I tell you to move, you actually move slowly. Well, it's because I know that with hands, you're so tight in that the smallest movement yeah. can actually look quite Absolutely. big anyway. Yeah. It's really, uh, really good. good. For the first time in Nina's career, she's lost a job to her main hand rival, Gemma. But that's OK, because she's got plans to take hand modelling to even greater heights. Um, I'm here to see Colin. OK, if you'd like to just go up the stairs, it's meeting room number two. Great, thank you very much. OK, you're welcome. Sharing her hand-modelling secrets with the world is just the first step. So this is exciting. Yes, um, as you know, you've seen your const under construction page. Mm -hmm. You know, I have been doing this for ten years. I've worked with the top, top photographers, top directors. You name it, I've worked with them. But once you're there, you're there, you know, it's, you're, you're always thinking about the next thing. Here you have wow. your hand. There it is. <laughs> it's yeah. like seeing it on a billboard again. <laughs> you know, there is a shelf life to any type of modelling. There has to be. New people are coming on board now. You know, I've got, I've got to take these things in account. I think I've got quite a lot to say and quite a lot to, to share, shall we say. I could be just hands and I could remain that as well. But I think there is a lot more to me. Thanks for watching guys and remember if you want to know anything more about hair modeling or any further information in general, visit my website at all the w's dot famous See ya.